Okay, we need to we need to talk about something. There's something that really grinds my gears right now. So I was just on YouTube. While on YouTube, I stumbled across an ad for a website called doodly.com. And when I watched this ad, it literally made my heart sink. And I got very annoyed and aggravated and upset. Why? Well, because apparently it is a program that lets you create whiteboard videos without any skill whatsoever. Now on surface level, this seems like a very harmless thing, right? And then I'd look at the website and there's a, a sentence that I'm going to read to you that that is why I am actually kind of upset about this. No longer will you be forced to pay outrageous fees and wait weeks to months for professional designers and videographers to create hand sketched doodle videos for you. Obviously, I was a little offended about that, to be honest, because that's kind of my profession. The one channel I think of is ASAP Science. They do the exact kind of videos. So now ASAP Science is kind of out of a unique style because now everybody can do it for free with no skill. ASAP Science kind of just lost their own style because of this program. I know ASAP Science puts a lot of hard work into manually drawing their videos, so to have this program be available is just the stupidest thing ever for creative integrity. <laughs> I always thought that it would take a very long time for AI and robots to take creative jobs away from people because to me creativity is about like passion and inspiration and robots and I don't have that. But just to see something like that makes me realize, oh, technology is catching up to uh, destroying creative jobs and that kind of sucks. And it makes me very sad to see something like this because it's like you are taking jobs away from creative people. And that's just bad to see in general. Like, I know these are just doodle videos, but if they have the technology to make doodle videos with no skill, you know what's going to happen? You, you know what's going to happen? That means that they are going to figure out more and more ways to figure out how to do other types of videos with no skill, right? So the more you do that, the more creative people have less jobs. Pay outrageous fees, bro. Not everybody's like that. Come on, let's be real. I'm just thinking of this from like the job market perspective, you know, you're, you're taking a lot of people out of work with a program like this and nobody, nobody's really thinking about that businesses are benefiting from this. Apparently like a million businesses have used this or whatever. And I'm here just like, well, that's kind of uh, worrying. <laughs> Imagine putting into work into a creative project, you know, that you're passionate about and it's like, oh, but you could you just get some robot to do it in way less time. Yeah, but there's no passion behind that, and that's the problem. These robots can do this, but the robots don't have passion, and the robots don't have introspection. They don't have the human traits that we have that make creativity better. You know, that's why art is amazing in general, specifically paintings, you know? Like, sure, a robot can paint a painting, but most likely the robot doesn't have a meaning behind the painting. It's just a painting. Whereas when a human makes a painting, there's emotions that are involved, you know? There are specific traits and specific situations that the artist wants to portray in art in an abstract way, or not even an abstract way, if that makes sense. So to see something like this, like a program like this, it makes me very sad because it makes me realize that now creative people have to up their game and make sure that they're not replaced by robots. Like I always thought, oh yeah, you know, machine, like the first work that would be replaced is any manual labor job because robots are going to replace that eventually. It's like, no, oh, robots can't replace creative work. Apparently now they can, and I am very saddened by this fact. And this isn't even coming from a selfish perspective, despite the fact that I am like a video editor and I edit for other people and that's how I make my money, right? And I make my own videos and stuff like that. It's not even that. I'm just thinking of like the future of creative jobs in general, how this is kind of put in jeopardy. This is now a rabbit hole of like, oh, if we can do this, then we can do this and then we can do this. And pretty soon creative people will just be out of a job, you know, unless they become big YouTubers where they can do whatever they want. But besides that, you know, like video editing for other people that might become obsolete in the future. And that's kind of sad to see. And also I have a lot of creative friends. I have video creator friends. I have artist friends. I have animator friends. And to see this, I'm sure all the animators are going to hate this, right? I know how hard animation is. I'm, I'm not an animator, but I can tell that it takes a lot of work and I acknowledge that so to see something like this breaks my heart for animators specifically because I, I don't know again I just see this as a big rabbit hole <laughs> that could end up badly so what's the point of this message uh, don't use this program because it kills creative integrity right it kills creative passion Two, support your local artist any way you can right now today or you know soon 
because you never know, they could be out of a job. I don't know, am I just coming from a doomsday approach, or is my concern, like, justified? I'm not even sure, honestly, I just, it kind of rubbed me the wrong way, and I didn't like to see that, to be honest, because I care a lot about, like, in cre creative integrity and, like, creative passion like that's my life right so to see it be replaced by a robot just kind of hurts a little bit you know what i mean and so but yeah support your local artists today you know i will leave links to a bunch of really cool youtubers and really cool artists in the description so you can support them by following and you know supporting them any way you can i'm good that's my part i'm gonna shout out a bunch of people that you should follow because they're all amazing great people i was gonna save it for a cool even more youtubers you're thankful for no we're just gonna do it in this video because i i'm now realizing that now is the time <laughs> i can't wait six months to make that video that's it that's well thank you for listening to my ted talk uh yeah